Colson, this is just the start of the legal process with O'Donnell now officially indicted for murder. But aside from that charging document, a court clerk tells me a judge has sealed all the other documents in this case from being released to the public. About 20 miles from his home in Tennessee, 53 year old Mike Harding was found dead inside this empty home up for sale in Burksville, Kentucky in September. He ran a business called Around the Clock Heating and Air. Yeah, yeah I said him over a couple days working. A neighbor says he saw Mike working on the air conditioning at the house and get into what looked like an argument one day. I, I was out here cutting the yard and just working, pulling weeds and stuff, and I happened to look over and seen that guy were working on the air conditioning and then the I just see another guy pull up there and confront him and they start arguing. But J.D. Willis says he isn't quite sure what day that was, who the guy was, or if it had anything at all to do with what's now turned into a murder investigation. Like I said, I didn't pay much attention when I seen that guy there. And like I said, it's kind of shocking when something like that happens around here. Today, a Cumberland County grand jury in Kentucky indicted 60 year old Thomas O'Donnell for murder. He's accused of shooting Mike multiple times, but investigators haven't said why or if O'Donnell had any prior connection to Mike or his estranged wife, Julie. O'Donnell was arrested last week at the Sacramento International Airport. He's being held on a $1 million cash only bond at the Sacramento County Jail before his arraignment in a Kentucky court now set for the morning of January 26. That's more than a month away, so there is quite a bit of time until then, and that may be because a clerk tells us that the Cumberland County Circuit Court only does arraignments once a month. She also mentioned that she's never handled a case like this where uh, many of the documents in the case are sealed from the public. Live here in Tennessee, Lizay Mitri, KCRA 3 News.